Exercise 4. Shortening of the transverse colon. And now we are finished with uh, stage one of colonoscopy. We have the sigmoid colon straight, and we have confirmed that it is straight. And then we will go to stage two of colonoscopy, which is trying to straighten out the mobile portion of the transverse colon. Uh, our goal is to try to have the transverse colon shortened so that it would end up looking like this. So first, uh, this exercise four, before you go into this exercise four, you always confirm that you have a one-to-one -one reaction. And uh, the sigmoid colon might re-loop in this case, so we would always want to keep a sufficient right torque and at the splenic flexure, we do a complete up angulation and push the endoscope into the mid transverse colon where we start to centralize and shorten the transverse colon. This is a very slow movement. You can also use suction. And after reaching the static flexure, we insert the endoscope into the ascending colon, reaching the cecum, finally confirming one-to-one -one again in the cecum. This is the end of uh, all the exercises and stage two.